that was strong. I just came out of another class and I tried to do a few with you. I'm like, oh, she's killing it this morning. Hi, everybody. It's good to see you. Hi, Trisha. Hi, everyone. I see Amy's here this morning. I see a couple of familiar faces. Awesome, awesome. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm really, really glad that you're able to make it and carve out a little bit of time um, for yourself before you carve out your turkey today. My name is Stacy Lee Kraus, SLK. You can call me Silk if you'd like to. You can find me at stronglikesilk.com. And I'm thrilled to be joining this fundraiser this morning. After a half an hour with Trisha, which I could only imagine, and a half an hour with Kirsten, which I saw, we're going to kind of take you down a little bit and stretch everything out so that we can prepare you for the next half of your workout this morning, okay? Um, so as you could imagine, uh, the word of the week is gratitude. So we're gonna be working with a moving mantra that helps us to remember where we are, what we have to be thankful for today. Okay, so because there's no reason for us to worry about what's happening in the future, it hasn't happened yet, right? There's no reason for worry, and why fret about the past? It's over, it can't touch you. So we're gonna be very, very focused on today and have some gratitude for what's happening right now. So if you would please make your way over to your mat. You wanna have a mat or a carpet is fine. Okay, just don't be on the hardwood floor. And if you have a block of any sort, you could use, um, a box of pasta, but be careful because if you put your hand through it, you'll have rotini everywhere, right? So a box or a pillow or a pot from your kitchen, something that you might be able to lean on. And by the way, that's not cheating if you use a block. Uh-uh, it's not. Let's get some music on. Let's see. Let's share this music with you because I bet you want to hear it. All right, let's do it. Hey, you guys, let's just give Miss Trisha Murphy a round of applause. Murphy, Madden, I'm sorry. You're always Trisha Murphy in my head. Let's give her a round of applause for doing such good work this morning and raising so much money. I mean, she's got a million things going on in her life and she's still focused on all the other people. Um, so, so much gratitude for you this morning. Miss Trisha, for all our years of knowing each other. Yeah. All right, so let's come to your knees, please. Okay, I'd like you to just fold your feet underneath you and then stack your shoulders over your hips and engage your core and sit up nice and tall. We'll bring your hands into your heart so that your thumbs are actually touching your sternum. Now close your eyes. Can you feel your heart beat? That's you, baby, that's the I am presence. The most important thing in this world right now, I am. Press your thumbs together and your pinky fingers together. Please open your fingers wide. Create a mudra or a gesture that is the lotus, the lotus flower that can rise above it all and just float effortlessly. Take a deep breath in and exhale everything you don't need. Breathe in peace and joy and abundance and happiness. Exhale stress, anxiety, worry, fear, grief, or shame. Stay with your breath. This is the time to do it. Inhale what you need. Exhale what you need to release. Inhale, rise your lotus flower over your head. You feel yourself rising above it all. And you can float effortlessly and just be. And exhale, take your hands back down. And inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Please separate your hands. And then sweep your arms back behind you. Take your time. Okay, let's do that a few more times. Just up and back up and back. And you might notice that you have some imbalance between your right and left side. Just observe without any judgment. Pressing through the heels of your hand, right, that will help you to lengthen through your elbows. 
and lengthen your muscles that you just worked so hard for. Reach your arms all the way up this time, please, and take your right hand down to your side. You could slide or crawl it out to the side. Get a nice deep side bend from your fingertip to your hip. Please lift your eyes up and then look back down and look up again and look back down and look up and notice the expression that you have behind your eyes and shift that to a place of gratitude. And now reach your arm all the way up and sweep it right down to the floor. Two hands come together at your heart, reach up overhead, and now slide your left hand down. You could crawl or slide your hand all the way out, but now stretch your side body. You could feel your skin stretching, it feels so good. Reaching from your fingertip to your hip, and draw your top shoulder back and lift your eyes up and then look back down and look up and look back down. Now look up and hold and once again, notice the look, the expression behind your eyes. More important than ever because these days all other people see is our eyes, right? So you don't have to smile with your mouth, but smile with your eyes. Reach your arm all the way up sweep all the way down. Now bring your hands to lotus, sweep all the way up once again, and take your hands back behind you. Place your fingertips on the ground and open up your heart. Super exposed and vulnerable here, right? So your heart is wide open. And then drop your head back and expose your throat, your truth, and then smile or have gratitude in your eyes. Exhale a lot. Now tuck your chin, bring your chin forward. And now this one's a tough one. So exhale as you do this, lift your knees off the ground and stretch the lower leg in front of your foot. All right, lower your knees back down. How did that feel? Crawl your hands forward, please. And come on up to a tabletop posture. I'd like you to curl your toes a lot. Okay, so I call this a foot fold. Actually, let's walk back and lift up toes number three, four, and five. So use your hands like a little personal trainer. You're a coach for yourself. And then lift up your other toes. So now your foot fold is deep and you're stretching out your plantar fascia, right? Oh, it feels so good. Bring your hands to the floor. Stack your hips over your hands. No, these are shoulders. Your shoulders over your hands. And now begin to move through your cat and cow arching and arcing your spine. Please close your eyes. You're absolutely safe and you're exactly where you need to be. So with your eyes closed, you're moving through these two postures. Please synchronize your breath any way that feels good. So one movement has an inhale and one movement has an exhale. And now hold the posture that your body needs more of right now. And exhale deeply into that space and articulate even more deeply. and then relax to a flat back. Okay, lift your right arm up and reach out in front of you and now sweep your left leg up and stretch from fingertip to toe as long as you possibly can. Make the straightest line that you can and reach even longer and then bring your elbow to touch your knee. Get small, tuck your chin a lot and reach out and tuck in. So a little bit of gentle flexion and a little bit of gentle rotation. Hold the next one in. And now sweep out once again and fold your back leg and sweep your right hand and place it on your lower back. So level one students, just stay right here. You're perfect where you are. And level two, it's a little more intense. Reach and grab your foot. And then level three, kick into your hand. Now everyone, look forward and then look up and roll your eyes back and watch the expression behind them. And then very gently lower down, place your hand on the floor and then push your body back. Nice deep foot fold again. Stretch your wrist, circle and shake. All right, let's come on back. Tabletop and this time sweep your left arm up 
and your right leg up. And now reach from your fingertips to your toes. I mean, stretch your skin suit as far as you can. And now elbow to your knee, come down low, get small and extend out and do it again. And let's have one more on this side. And hold and hold and reach and stretch. Now fold your back leg and sweep your left hand around, place it on your lower back and just hold here in balance. Level two, a little more challenging to take hold of the outside of your foot. And then level three, kick up and kick into your hand. And then everyone, bring your heart forward and lift your eyes up. And then relax your body back down. Let's all walk back. Stretch and stretch your wrist. Circle and shake. Okay, come back to your hands and your knees. And now bring your right hand to your heart. Actually touch your heart. I'm really big on the heart touching thing. So touch your heart to your hand and then lift your arm up towards the ceiling. And then touch your heart and then back down. And let's do this a few times. So touch and reach and touch and down. Keep going. So we're practicing dynamic asana, meaning that your posture is moving in and out and you'll synchronize your breath, and each one gets a little bit stronger, a little bit deeper, more complete. Now hold the next one up, and roll through your wrist a few times in both directions. Okay, now once again, touch your heart, but then reach through your arm. Place it all the way out to the side, and relax down. So roll off of your shoulder onto your upper back. And then extend your left leg back behind you. Now, take little hops with your left leg. Out to the side, out to the side, out to the side. So your left leg is long, your right arm is long, and you're twisting deeply using your fingertips to enhance this stretch. Now, level three students, you're most advanced, you're pretty bendy. You can extend your leg up and grab hold of your big toe. Can you do that? Now everyone reach your top arm up and fold back behind you. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Notice that your breaths are fluid and deep. Notice that your eyes are sparkly. Allow this to feel so good. Reach your top arm up and fold it back down to the floor. Now push off this arm and help yourself up to tabletop. Lift your left leg up, slide it back behind you, and relax down to the floor. A quick cat and cow will help you to reset. Okay, now your left hand. Tap your heart and reach up and tap your heart and come back down. Do that a few more times, reaching up and reaching down. Now once you reach, you're reaching in opposition, reaching up and pressing down simultaneously, right? You're really enhancing this twist. Now hold the next one up as high as you can. And then touch your heart and fold your arm through once again. So now your left arm is folded through and your right leg comes back behind you. Okay, take tiny little hops with your back foot forward, forward, forward. And keep that night, your leg nice and straight. And maybe this is where you land this morning. Now level three students, you'll take your foot all the way up to your hand. You'll hook your big toe. Now everyone reach up high with your top arm and fold it back behind you and roll across your head and gaze up beyond the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and exhale a lot. Your top arm reaches up. It returns to the floor. Push your torso up. Tabletop back. Now exhale, this is a strong one. Exhale, lift your leg up one time and then sweep your leg back behind you and relax it down. 
A quick cat and cow will help you reset. Okay, place your hands just underneath your shoulders. How are y'all doing? Good? Say that word out loud. Say, I'm good, good. Yeah, hear that vibration in yourself when you say it. Now exhale, lift your knees off the floor. Your exhale is deep. And then press downward facing dog. So this might be your first time upside down today. Knowing Trisha, probably not. You've probably been upside down today. But allow your head to hang completely and just pedal through your feet. Now this particular exercise should be creative, contemplative, right? Explore your way through your downward dog. See what feels good. Oh yeah, bend one knee, bend your other knee, shake your head no, shake your head yes. So this is kind of neat information. Right now, all of your gut feelings are pouring through your heart into your head. Gut feelings are real. So just notice what comes up for you. Okay, take that information. Okay, both heels high and then both heels down. Okay, now both heels high and hold and then shift your hips back so you've got a low squat. You feel pretty primal here, right? Right here. All right, so your heels are up and your eyes are forward. You can take little tiny hops or one big jump towards your feet. Once you arrive at your, those would be hands, once you arrive at your hands, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. So let's try that again. Halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins or your thighs. Level three students, sweep your hands back behind you. Exhale, forward fold. So when we come up to halfway lift, let's do it again, boom. Your body feels sharp, turned on. Your legs are straight, your core is engaged. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift, get sharp. Exhale, forward fold. Now, close your eyes, please. Scoop your belly and begin to roll up slowly, bone by bone, with your eyes closed. As you roll up, bring your hands into your heart. Press your thumb to your sternum. Once you arrive up to the top, you'll feel a sway in your feet. You're safe, just hold on. A deep breath in. Exhale, feel your roots. You're connected, you're solid, you are stable. Blink your eyes open. Hey there. Inhale, reach up the mountain pose. Okay, get a little stretch on the right side. A little stretch on the left side. Stretch and stretch your skin. Exhale, lift it back, bend. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, touch your heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, you're sharp. Exhale, forward fold. Now level two and three, lift your heels, come down, small ball. If you've chosen small ball, bring your eye sockets right into your knees. Can you do that? Scoop your belly deeply. Let's flow again for our sun salutation. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, touch your heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, you're sharp. Exhale, forward fold. A deep breath in, an even longer exhale. And now we'll add a moving mantra. Here we go. I recognize and value the gifts in my life today. I am focused, I am grateful. And I'm gonna change that mantra just a little bit. You ready? Here we go, inhale. I recognize and value the gifts in my life today. I am fortunate, I am grateful. A deep breath in and even longer exhale. Can you say it with me? Let's go, inhale, I recognize and value the gifts in my life today. I am fortunate, I am grateful. Take a deep breath in and even longer exhale. Now everyone come down to this small ball, please step or jump out to plank if you're comfortable jumping out. So hold your strong plank position Nice sharp line from your shoulder to hip, your hip to your heel, 
And now flutter kick your feet. So I'd like you to sweep and point, sweep and point. Okay, keep your right foot lifted up and place the top of your foot on the floor and then your left foot. And then slide your hips forward and press your shoulders away from your head. Eyes gaze up. Exhale, flip your toes, downward facing dog. Pedal through your heels one at a time. Shift forward to plank. Flutter kick your feet. Keep your left foot lifted. Place the top of your foot on the floor and then your right. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's repeat that again, okay? I know you guys are strong. Forward to plank, right foot up, optional chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog. Forward to plank, your left foot up, optional chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Pedal through your heels one at a time. Both heels high and both heels down. <sighs> Please lift your right leg high into the air, three-legged dog. Point and flex your ankle, make little circles with your ankle. Okay, now your right knee comes to your right elbow. Go for the touch. See if you can get your skin to touch your skin. Inhale, let's do that again. Lift up high, knee to your elbow. Inhale, lift up high. Cross your body, knee comes to your left elbow. Touch. Do that again. Inhale, lift up high. And touch. Inhale, lift up high. This time your knee to your chest, or your chin, or your nose, or your forehead. Do it again. Inhale, lift up high. Knee comes center. <sighs> Inhale, lift up high. Exhale, swing through, low lunge. Are you with me? Do you feel good? Say, I feel good. Drop your knee to the floor, please. Your back knee is on the floor. Sweep both arms up, low crescent lunge. Bring your hands together to a steeple grip. Now elevate your knee off the floor and come back down. Now just decide if you prefer to have your knee up or down. Choose the position that you like best right now and hold that. So your knee is elevated or it's rested. Side bend to your left, your right. Come back to center, please. And bring your hands to your heart. Now twist right three times, two times, one time hold. Reach your arms out wide and look back behind you. Because we can look back in our past, we can see where we've come from, and still get right back on track, yeah? Sweep both arms up, crescent lunge. If your knee is down, pull it up now. And then pivot your back foot. So, here we are in the warrior, the protector and the defender of your life and your space and everything in it. Feel the warrior archetype inside of you. Take up space, baby. Look beyond your fingertips and feel yourself powerful, strong, and grounded. Now bring two hands to your heart and feel yourself beating, thumping. Beautiful. The peaceful warrior looks up. A sensation of looking forward to sensation of gratitude. Draw your elbow to your hip and lift it up one more time. Yes. And now spiral your arms back. You're the warrior, but you're changed now, aren't you? That bit of peace inside of you. Cartwheel your arms down to the floor, please. And inhale. Lift your right leg up. Three-legged dog. Flex your ankle, bend your knee, and open wide. The kick drives the posture, so flex your foot hard. Now lift your leg high. And then eyes forward. Shift forward to plank. Optional chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale. 
downward facing dog. Pedal through your heels one at a time. Both heels high and both heels down. Okay, lift your left leg up. Reach, reach. Point and flex through your foot. Make little circles through your ankle. Feels good, right? All right, point your toes a lot. Left knee, left elbow. So it's a side bend. And go for the touch, skin on skin. Let's do that again. Reach up and touch. All right, reach up high. This time, cross your body. Left knee, right elbow, touch. Can you do it? Instant gratification. Try it one more time. All right, lift your leg up. This time, knee comes center. Your chest, your nose, or your forehead. Let's do that one more time. Lift up high. Exhale, swing through low lunge. Place your foot and place your knee down. Sweep your arms up, the crescent lunge. So it's a steeple grip on top, okay? Now let's play up and down. So you've got a nice strong foot fold in the back and you're playing and you're exploring, you're deciding which position does my body like more of today? Or like more, you know what I meant. I only had one little cup of coffee today. Choose your favorite posture here. And then bend to your left side. Stretch your side body. And if you'd like, your eyes gaze towards the ceiling. Just maintain your balance here. Hands come back to the center down to your heart. Maybe you're opening up to the Lotus Mudra. Now twist to your left, three, and two, last one, hold. Now reach back, and look back, and twist back. You have the sensation of just wringing yourself out. Anything that you don't need or want in your life, do you know you could let that go? Sure you can. Yes, you can, sister. Okay, sweep both arms up. Now pivot your back foot. Okay, now we're back in our warrior. This is the most powerful posture of the whole series, your warrior posture. So your feet are wide, right? But you're drawing your feet together energetically because you're grounded, you're connected. You can feel this inside of you. Now touch your heart and feel your thump and find your, your peaceful warrior. Reach up, reach down, shift your gaze to gratitude. And now return to the warrior and feel how different you are now. at lunge. Sweep your arms down, please. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Flex your ankle, bend your knee, and open up your hip. Kick drives the posture. Inhale, three-legged dog. Shift forward to plank. Optional chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Please bend your knees. Have a seat. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Nice accomplishments this morning, guys. How do you feel? Me too. Bring your hands down. Cross your ankles, please. And roll yourself down to the mat. Draw your knees to your chest. I can't believe that 30 minutes just went by like that, huh? Grab hold of your big toes or the insides of your feet and open wide. This is the happy, happy baby. Just rock from side to side. Now slide your hands to the outsides of your legs and extend your legs all the way out for a well-deserved rest. 
drop your toes out, please. Palms up to receive or palms down to get grounded. Hey, if you need a little healing energy today, please one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Now give yourself a few moments for all the subtle changes to take place inside of you. Be grateful. Please take a deep breath in and the longest exhale you've had all day. Wiggle your toes and reach your arms overhead and stretch and stretch like it's the first time you're waking up today. Reach and reach. All right, draw your knees into your chest, please. Hold on to your shins. Now we'll have a few rocking rolls forward and back just to massage your spine. Give yourself three or four of these. And then hold your last one up at the top. Let's spin around and face the front of the room. Bring your hands right into your heart with your eyes closed. I recognize and value the gifts in my life today. I am fortunate. I am thankful. Deep breath in and exhale. One more time, say it with me. I recognize and value the gifts in my life today. I am fortunate. I am grateful. It was my honor to join this amazing event. Thank you for choosing me to be your coach for this 30 minutes. Congratulations and happy Thanksgiving. The light in me sees and honors the light in you, everyone. Namaste. Namaste. All right, guys, who's up next?